what is going on you guys I'm back today to play some Aval pool and today we're going to check out the new tables that came out with the most recent Aval pool update so let's take a look here I believe there's a new tournament yeah Buenos Aires it's a nine ball tournament so that's pretty cool I'm not gonna play that in this video because that'll take forever but um, yeah I'll play that eventually and if we go to no guidelines there's Beijing and that's just regular no guideline eight ball pool and this is Istanbul which is a no guideline nine ball table so that's pretty interesting and then if we go to play nine ball there's Dallas which is uh, yeah just call pocket and all shots and then there's Istanbul again and they also changed up the roam table to where there is a cushion shot needed on the eight ball so it's pretty much like a mini Berlin now, except the entry fee is now 4 million points. So, I mean, I personally like that. Um, I think it's good for people who have a lower coin balance and don't want to waste, or don't want to risk 25 million points. So, uh, yeah, I personally like the April Pool update. I know a lot of people have been hating on it because they thought there was going to be a larger table than Berlin coming out, but, I mean, I'm not really worried about it. It is what it is. Um, yeah, let's just go right into it. Let's play, um, I don't really want to play every single table. Let's play Dallas, and I think we'll play Beijing, and then I do want to play Rome. So I guess we'll skip Istanbul for the day. Found an opponent, playing for 10 million coins, Greenish, from Pakistan, and yeah, they look like they're pretty good. They already have an Istanbul and Beijing ring. So, yeah. Looks like they didn't pot anything there. So let's go for this yellow into the bottom left pocket. And then we gotta go for the blue next. I'm gonna add backspin here so that the cue ball hits soft off the bottom cushion. All right. Put the blue into the upper right pocket. And next, it looks like we gotta go for a red. So I'm gonna add backspin again. Hopefully, after it gets the orange, I can stay left of the brown. Okay, that didn't work out how I planned it, but you know what? We're fine. We got a shot here. And we'll do the purple, actually we'll go for a combo shot, but the purple and the green, that's what we'll do. Yeah, a little combo shot into the upper right. Pretty simple, they're pretty much straight, yeah, pretty much a straight shot. And after this, I want to go for the orange into the bottom of the right. Oh wait, no, I gotta go for my purple. But um, I could try a little combo shot here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a little indirect shot. Thing in my face, okay. Well, we'll see how he likes this. Oh, crap, that was pretty nice. Made the eight ball too. And yeah, go for the purple, and then next it's the brown. Yeah, now he's just trash talking me now. And I'm gonna go for this into the upper left so that the cue ball stays below the yellow. And I'm gonna put the yellow into the upper right. So pretty simple, and he's just trash talking me right now. But yeah, he's about to lose. Yeah, go home. And um, like I said, I don't really want to play every single table today, so I think now let's go into Beijing. I want to play Beijing. No guideline table. And then, uh, yeah, I definitely do want to play Rome, because I think that that's kind of cool now. But it's like a mini Berlin. So we got the break here this time. 
And this is eight ball pool, not nine ball, so. Gonna go for a standard break. Manage the pot two stripes there. And the table, it's pretty open. Not the greatest, but I know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go for solids, and the only solid that's not in a very good position is the orange, but I can clear that up right away when I go for the purple. I'll just add a little bit of top spin and clear up the orange. And now let's take a look at my opponent here. I'm Lebanon, 60% win percentage, 5 game win streak, so yeah, they're a pretty good player. But, um, yeah, I should be able to get this denial. Not the, I'm not the greatest no guideline player, but this is a pretty open table. And just like that, cleared up the orange perfectly. And I'm actually going to go for that orange right now into the upper right. And after this, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's just go for the blue. Yeah, go for the blue here. And then after this, what do I want to do? Let's go for the green. Okay, and next, I want to go for the yellow, I think. I'm gonna go for the yellow into the bottom. Well, wait a second. No, I'm gonna go for the red, actually. I'm gonna go for the red. And then I want to go for the yellow and... Ah, oh man, I don't know what I want to do here. See, I'm not that great at no guidelines, so I'm not really sure where the cue ball's gonna go after this shot. I would ideally like to go for the brown next, but no. Yeah, I couldn't get far right enough, so I am gonna go for the yellow here, actually. Just add a little bit of backspin to this, and then go for the brown. Okay, and yeah, put this into the upper left pocket, and I do want to try and get right of the eight ball, so how can I do that? We'll add some top right, or top left spin. And oh, 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 oh wow, okay, I did not expect that, but now this is an even better, an even better result. Now I've got a really easy shot on the eight very easy so that was a little bit stressful but got that denial all right and yeah let's just go right into Rome I really am looking forward to playing this table because Rome was a table that before this update everyone kind of hated it I don't know anyone that liked it because it was the highest no guideline table and it was just full of hackers it seemed like so yeah hopefully this changes things up and it's not full of hackers now uh, I got the break again and all right not terrible I don't really like what's going on right here in the bottom left portion gotta clear that up somehow what should I go for here I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go for this green solid and hopefully clear that up. And, okay, that didn't really work out too well. The It is clear, but I can only put that red in the bottom right, I think. And do I even have a shot right now? Yeah, I don't even have a shot. Yeah, that was not good. I'm gonna go for this blue, I guess, into the upper left hit it off of the left cushion this is a tricky shot oh no I actually made contact with the stripe first so he's gonna have the ball in hand take a look here he's uh, 47 win percentage the Atlantis Q yeah let's just see he doesn't have a great win percentage but you never know the eight ball is in a very good position. He can bank that almost wherever he wants, but wow, that was not a good shot right there. Now his yellow's in a really bad spot. 
I don't think he can put that into the upper right because it's kind of glued to the eight ball. So it looks like he's gonna go for his purple here into the upper left, which isn't easy either because my blue's kind of in the way, but he can do this if he's really precise. Hits this soft. No, he messed that up. But uh, I'm actually very happy with this because now I got perfect shot on my red. I can get that out of the way. And I have an idea here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some top spin here. And I'm going to go for my blue next. And I purposely tried to create a bad angle so that I could clear up the eight ball. Just add a touch of backspin and this thing should hit the eight ball spot on. Just like that. Okay, don't go in, don't go in. Yeah. All right, now we just got the yellow and the purple. Let me think of what I wanted to do here. I could go for an indirect shot and hit this purple off the eight, but I'm not gonna do that. I have a better idea. I'm gonna go for this yellow then the purple and then we're going to have a pretty simple shot on the eight ball into the bottom right pocket gonna just bank this off of the top cushion and this is about as easy as you could hope for right here just like that so there we go there's um three of the new tables with the recent eight ball pool update. Like I said, this update just came out a couple days ago for iOS, so it's all pretty new for me. I'll eventually get all the rings and stuff, but yeah, I personally kind of like this update. I know a lot of people have been hating on it, but yeah. And with this update, let's see, you can chat with your Facebook friends. That's kind of cool. Um, and then you can play your friends on some of these new tables I guess so let's see like if I want to play doesn't really matter challenge you can play them in Beijing or Dallas or Miami so yeah that's kind of cool yeah I think that's all I got for this video I've had a ton of requests to do a commentary so and I haven't done a commentary in a long time obviously I was inactive on my channel for a few months because of school and work and stuff. Just been really busy. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see more commentaries, just let me know. Just give me any idea, whatever you want, because I don't really know what to commentate over. If you want me to do, like, Q videos or challenges or what, just let me know in the comments. I'm still going to keep doing indirect videos with friends and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I do have a few months where I should be able to upload a lot more before I head back to school. So just uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see. And I think that's all I got, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next video. So peace.